A guy called the shop and said he's got a ride that's gonna save my life. And since I'm not looking to die anytime soon, I figured I'd check it out. What the hell is it? What's going? I'm Corey. Tommy, man. Tommy, all right. Uh, some kind of old SWAT vehicle, or? This is actually what I call my survival vehicle. Survival vehicle? Sure. You know, when the goes down, and you got a bug out, you grab your bag, throw it in this, you're out. <laughs> the survival vehicle is badass. All entry points are protected by a set of bars, which are easy up and easy down, fully impervious to outside threats. I want to sell it because I want to build another one. And if you want one, or anyone else for that matter, I'm your guy. This is the coolest part. Driver windshield protection, securing the vehicle entirely from any outside threats. No one's getting in it, that's for sure. Check this out. All right. Right? Look at that. <laughs> right? <laughs> Zombies are coming at you. You're taking arms off. He's got a nice Rolex. Keep that, throw it down there. This one's got a cool pair of shades on. The head comes off. Just crazy stuff. Man, I can tell you really thought all this out. Obviously, I'm not afraid of a zombie attack, but as a survival vehicle, there's definitely a market out there for this. I'm just not sure I want this thing sitting in the parking lot until I'm able to sell it. What else have you done to it? Let's go. Let's say you get to your spot or you're on your way and you decide we gotta get out and stretch our legs. You need some shade because it is crazy out here in the desert. Open this up. You could do some work here. Maybe somebody got hurt. You do a little medical stuff here. A little tool area there, all right. Exactly. This, it's a five gallon water jug painted black. By the time you're done with the day out in the sun, it heats it up. If you ever need to just shower, rinse off. All right. Boom. Now, in the back, everyone needs a submarine-style latch on the door. It just appears to be strong, right? So you got this. Look at this. Boom, look at that. Man, the inside's pretty plush. Let's go inside. All right. Watch your head on the way in there. I really dig it. You can, you can enjoy it. You can go camping in it. What's up? I got to ask, man. I mean, uh, what's the story behind it? Why'd you build it? Well, it's kind of like, you know, you buy a model airplane and you put it together and it's fun. Mm -hmm. Well, this is just a big version of that. Well, let's take it for a test drive and see how it goes. Let's go. All right, buddy. But I'm stoked to get this beast out and drive it down the street. In Vegas, people are used to seeing crazy stuff, but I don't think anybody will be ready for this. Well, I had to be honest, man. When I first saw the thing, I was like, what the hell is this thing? But yeah. I, it's fun, man. I can think like, It totally is. And it's got its rough around the edges places, but that's what makes it so cool. Yeah, you know, it's not supposed to be pretty. It's definitely a fun thing to cruise around in, man. Everybody checks you out. Yeah. I'm into it, man. Call me crazy, but I really like this thing. But I know he put a lot of time and effort into building this thing himself, so he's probably going to have a hard time letting it go for a decent price. All right, man, so what are you looking to get out of it? I'd like to get about 15000 I'm going to go 10000 10000 Meet me in the middle, 12.50? 12 12.50. Now that you drove it. You know, man, I'll tell you what, I'll do 11 as it is, man, and that's up to you. If that's the most I'm gonna go. 12.50. 11 grand, man, 11, 11 grand where I walk away. You know, 11's my lucky number, so I think I'm gonna have to take you up on that. All right, cool, 11,000, deal. Uh, let's go inside and do some paperwork, all buddy. Right. I sold the vehicle for 11000 well, As long as he appreciates the work and all the hard effort that I put into it, I'm happy about it. 